typical day we have around 250 um, users on the network. Uh, we have about uh, 180 total employees, maybe 250 computers, and probably about 50 servers now. We are wholly dependent on email and uh, you know real-time communications throughout the NFL and uh, now internationally with our presence in London. Organizations always been hot on newer technologies. Preceding game days, we uh, have a number of critical systems we have to run through and test. We have uh, a network that covers the, all of the, the stadium out to the entrance gates and even now out to the parking lot. Uh, everything from when you enter the stadium uh, to get your ticket scanned uh, to buying your first drink will run through our network and it's critical that we have all of that running flawlessly. We have tried to extend uh, a lot of technology out to the fan. I think now it's becoming more critical than ever that we uh, maintain a good uh, connection to the fan uh, through DAS and uh, cell phones and Wi-Fi. It took about uh, a weekend and just to move all the servers. Of course, the preparation for that was months beforehand. So we had, all in all, a fair amount of man hours involved in moving them. But uh, once we got to the point where we were actually moving hardware and relocating, it was it uh, luckily went off without a hitch. We didn't uh, have any major catastrophes. Uh, we we got all of our equipment, uh, all of our critical equipment moved over to a place we feel safe with. So now we don't have to worry about uh, problems at the stadium uh, affecting the secu security and safety of our data, which was our very our primary focus in this. Uh, the reason uh, you know we broke tradition, most NFL teams don't do this. They use data centers just for disaster recovery. So we are breaking the mold a little bit, and I think uh, overall uh, it's going to be a, a good uh, change, a, a, a risk that was worth it.